If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the freeborn woman. One by the slave, I'm sorry, the son of the slave woman was born naturally. The son of the freeborn through a promise. Now, this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren one who have no, who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who are not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn woman. For freedom Christ set us free. No, so stand firm, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Right. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever.
hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given to us, except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgments, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came for the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn us, because at the preaching of Jonah they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel is a great reminder to recognize who is before us, that we may see extra signs of God in our life, but we also need to take a step back and realize that, in a sense, the signs given and the message given to us, that we have such a wealth of signs scripturally, traditionally, and ones around us that we're able to see the Lord acting throughout those signs. And once more, the signs at times may become greater than what is before us in our minds, to say, oh no, I will follow this sign or that sign, rather than follow the source. And the Lord reminds us that that source is God. So we see within that source itself as not greater than the sign, but the source as the greatest of all possible signs. And so we need to continue to have that faith. And at times it might be difficult to have that faith. We might be at times out on a limb, at times struggling with that. But when that happens, we pray for that faith. We pray that the Lord might give us that faith, might be able to remind us of those different moments of glory that we have seen in our life, different little miracles here and there that we have experienced, different ways of being saved, whether it is in minor ways or even in greater ways, that we continue to cling to the Lord in that aspect. So my dear sisters and brothers, let us be reminded of the great goodness of the Lord in our lives. Let us continue to be grateful for that, realizing what the Lord continues to do for us as his beloved daughters and sons. My dear sisters and brothers, attention to the signs of God's actions in the world, let us offer prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That God's people may listen to God speaking in the cries of the vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord that humankind may, be, may heed the groan of creation burn to be burdened by misuse, we pray to the Lord. Lord that leaders and nations may look upon the suffering of those who those made poor, homeless, and hungry, we pray to the Lord. Lord that families and communities may attend to those isolated by sickness, impairment, and depression, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for Ron Grislak, for Frank Dano, for John Kissel. For Brian Greenwood, for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. That the dead may be whole, the fullness of the gods revealed, God revealed in weakness, we pray to the Lord. And for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit 
of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord Finder of the lost, protector of the weak, you show yourself in the forgotten and rejected. Summon us to those who neglect, in whom summon us to those we neglect, in whom your image shines. And serving them may we find mercy rather than judgment, and so join your work of mending the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Create of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will be calm our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed God. Prayer, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept to the Lord the prayers of your faithful, for the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And and Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you lay the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made. And forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, and sending down your spirit upon them like you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. (coughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May you marriage be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer you the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have under my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who see the Lord lack no blessing. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is do you let us pray at Hail Mary for the needs of our church, our world, and of our community? Hail Mary, the Lord is the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Do you let us pray the prayer to our mother? Mother of Mother, Holy Queen, chosen before all women, to be the Lord and the Son of God. Mary, my mother, whom your maternity has so sanctified the state for the comfort, imploring me I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust you. I know that you can and I know our intercession. Help me in my name. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in needy I place my glory. I relinquish all for happening in the other hands. Betray not my own trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother, 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 Mother
mother of mother.